if you also were always the one that had to have it always like all together and all of the big out of control emotions were taken up by everybody else around you, right? It can also feel really hard to let yourself be upset and hurt and angry sometimes. And yes, there's what Danae is saying is totally accurate, which is like, when we are that person, we also can get addicted to the righteousness and the anger because it's like, I get to finally feel this, like, fuck you, Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold on to it. Yep. And I do find sometimes, like, even in my partnership, I'll say to him sometimes, like, you need to let me be angry. This is important for me to actually be able to feel because I spent a lifetime quickly trying to get over things because I didn't have time to be in that state and also stay in attachment with my family. Yep. <laughs> so this is why I also am saying there's no right or wrong. Everything that A and I are saying is a take it or chuck it, right? But also don't like cognitively force yourself into a state that you might also not be in yet because a little bit of that might be you also just being like, okay, like you said, it's pressure. All right, I got to be the one that... I'm the peacekeeper. You used that word earlier. It's always been your role. They're all looking at you again to be the peacekeeper. Come on. Aren't we good yet? Right. No, maybe we're not. And that's okay. And so it's like what Danae said. He is allowed. It is his family. He is allowed to go and have his time with them. But I just need a little bit more space and a little bit more time to be in this with myself and be with that little girl and and help her in her healing journey. 